Buenos dias. Hello, everyone. This is Herb Spanish here, and this is a video about one of my favorite tools to go ahead and use called Canva, as you can see on the screen here. Um, one of the things that I found amazing about Canva was, number one, the layouts are just great. There's a bunch of different free layouts that you can go ahead and use, but you can also upload your own graphics. So as you create things, you can bring them in. Uh, or as your school creates different things, you can bring those in and then publish those to be able to be used inside of presentations. Like that's what I'm working on right now is a slide presentation, or you can use them to be able to be buttons on uh, a website and all kinds of other things, infographics, you name it. One of the great things that you can do inside of Canva is, for example, I have this picture of some people working on computers. And as you can see here, I'm dragging it in into the element here, and it's just going to replace that picture of that canyon in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And that is fantastic that you can go to do that. But sometimes you don't want that picture to be replaced. So for example, I wanted this picture in the background there to be there of these teachers, uh, which by the way, if you click inside of this picture, I'm clicking inside of it, I just double clicked inside, it actually lets me go ahead and move the picture around. If it's a bigger picture, I can move and set which part of the picture I actually want in here. And then I just click the uh, OK check arrow there, and I can basically move the picture within the frame that's set up there inside of Canva. Another thing that I found is that if you click the command button or that I believe it's the control on a Windows uh, machine and you click either the minus or the plus button, you can go ahead and zoom in and out of the elements that you're actually going and working within that size of frame. And that's really nice, especially if you're working in something very detailed. Uh, you can zoom in and out by just clicking the command and the minus key or the command and the plus key uh, on a Mac. Um, so one of the other things that I was looking at uh, also is what if I already have this image in the background? Now I want to use this Schoology uh, element over here, uh, this logo, and I want to put it inside of here because this is going to be a Schoology parent session here that we're going to be hosting. I'm just going to put session here for right now and then we're going to be able to move these things in just a bit. Um, and anyway, one of the things I found annoying is that I just clicked it in there. If I just click it, it shows up there. Fantastic. I can resize it, so that's easy enough. We can just resize the thing. But if I start moving this anywhere, it's going to replace what's in the background. So, And I didn't want it to do that. So watch this. I'm going to just go ahead and hold on to the element here. Let's say I wanted to put it in the top left-hand side. I'm going to go ahead and start moving it. Oh, and it just replaced the whole thing. And so I found that. I'm going to undo that. I found that super annoying. And I was like, guys, there's got to be a way to prevent that from happening. And there is. All you need to do is hold down the shift key, and I found this out just by messing around, and then now I can move the element to wherever I want. One of the other things that I like to show other people uh, as far as Canva here is you see the image in the background there, and one of the cool things is that we can actually change the image transparency to basically bring out the text in front of it very easily by clicking over here in the top right hand side, and we have transparency there, I actually click the image. I click transparency and then I can reduce the transparency now see it kind of makes it a little bit wider the, the shade there and that's fantastic especially if I want to go ahead and change this color for example to black or a dark blue or something else like that as I'm working on this to bring out those things and kind of have that image in the background looks very very professional super easy to go ahead and use there another thing that I, w I also like to tell people when they're using Canva is this specific type of font open sans makes the spacing between the words Schoology maybe a little bit awkward. So I'm going to click the words, uh, the spacing here, and I can actually adjust the letter spacing to kind of squeeze the, the letters together so it doesn't look so awkward. I can also, if I have multiple lines, I can increase or decrease that line height that's set by the specific type of font, which then makes it uh, very customizable as far as you being able to go ahead and change uh, your graphic there that you're actually creating. So remember the biggest tech tool tip was hold down that shift key when you add elements in if you just want to be able to move them around but not want them to go ahead and appear in the background of the image uh, that you were working with. Bueno, if you have any other questions let me know. Adios. Hasta la vista.